Engineering 305, problem uh, 4.9, 4 um, no, no picture, they just gave us, a, there's actually a chart of four homework problems where they just give you the data, the strain and the X, the Y, and the shear strain, and then material properties, and you're supposed to find the normal stresses and the shear stress. Now, there's a trick to this problem, and that is one, one trick, and that first we've got to get our equations, but the definition G is equal to shear over gamma, um, that doesn't have any directions. That when you sh when you when you get shear strain in one direction, it doesn't create shear strain in the other direction. There isn't the equivalent of a Poisson's ratio for strain. So th in that sense, the shear stress is equal to G gamma. Now the problem there is I've still got to figure out G. So I got to go back and look at my. Um, Look at my I'm I'm looking at my equation sheets, looking at my study guide. E is equal to two one plus Poisson times G or G is equal to E over two times one plus Poisson. Right? And so now we can calculate that. And I'll just tell you then that that G is equal to, and time out for the calculator. So then I got uh, G is equal to 3.85 MSI. Uh, and now my picture is going to get in the way, so I'm going to just um, rotate that up. I use that, and then I plug that into shear is equal to 3.85 MSI. The shear stress equal to 3.85 MSI times a negative 400 micro, micro inches per inch. The micro cancels with the M, which was a capital M on the MSI, which was a 10 to the sixth. And so I wind up getting uh, just essentially four times 400, around 1600, a negative 1540 PSI for my stress. Now, the other two the other two directions, if I want to figure out sigma x, sigma x, well, that's equal to, I'm going to go back to the textbook or the back to the study guide, and I'm using plain stress equations. So sigma x was E over 1 minus Poisson squared times strain in the x plus Poisson times the strain in the y. And I can go ahead and convert that. I can put sigma y is equal to Poisson 1 my or sorry, Young's modulus over 1 minus Poisson squared. Strain in the y plus Poisson times the strain in the x. And I can punch in the numbers because the strains are given up at the top. Strain is 900 and negative 300. 900, negative 300, Poisson was 0.3, uh, Poisson there, and then it's 10, 10 MSI for Young's modulus. I have everything I need. Now I just have to crunch through the numbers. All right? You're getting the pause again. You're getting the cold shoulder. So I get 8,900 PSI in the X direction and 329 PSI positive in the y direction. I think those were the three things I was supposed to find. I should box my answers. Maybe I should even clean this up. Sigma x equals sigma y. Big box there. Oh, no, not g. I need a box on this. I should probably erase that box. Good thing I didn't do it in pen. <laughs> All right, there you go. Don't worry, there's more coming.